So long, I haven't. Oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Try that. Maybe that'll work. Is it working? All right. I'll judge the side, guys. Uh, we got some, got some big plans for old girl right here. Cause you want to give an update on your girl. We'll see what happened. Was that blue engine? There's no like way to put it. It's just gone. It's blown. Uh -huh. Cam phaser, cams, just the timing's off, transmission, and a new synchros. So basically wait, he he done. Wait, well, well, well he done messed up. Yeah. But we have plans for you guys. So lots of content. That's good news. Very good news. We'll see you in the near future with that one. Alright, so today. Uh, so we got Lucy right here. Uh, we're going to be doing Lucy's first mod tour. It's just going to be exterior mod. It's not going to be anything with horsepower or anything like that. We'll get into that soon enough. So today we're going to be putting in the just the upper RTR um, grill with the accent lights, the LED accent. These lights. are the this is the RTR grill with the LED accent lights. Um, so if you were to get this, I'm going to leave the link below uh, for this exact same grill. But you got to be you gotta be uh, on the lookout for this because it's gonna be very, very hard to find because they're constantly out of stock, and especially with the whole coronavirus going around. So basically, we already went ahead and pre-drilled the holes and tightened everything up. So really, there's gonna be one, two, three different spots so you gotta drill a hole into, and you're just gonna put it in these little screws to hold in the actual LEDs. And you're gonna do the exact same thing on this side, so as you can see, we already did that. So after you get that all set up, you're going to go over here and you're going to take off the entire front bumper of the car. Alright, so um, you can do it a couple of different ways. What we like doing is we like jacking up the car first and then, you know, getting the car at least, you know, up in the air so we can work on it underneath when we're ready for that. But usually what you're going to want to do is you're going to start by taking off this little plastic piece and then there's going to be... I believe it's like eight bolts right here holding on this and then you're just going to go underneath and there's going to be a bunch of screws all the way around the entire front uh, lip. You're going to take those out and then there's going to be two seven millimeter bolts on each side right behind um, the headlight housing. So it's going to be like right in here and it's going to be pretty simple and we're going to take you guys on the journey. So once we already uh, got this little plastic piece off, we've got to take out these little bolts right here. There's going to be two on this side, which we already got. There's one on this side. And there's one on this side to kind of hide a little bit. So you're just going to zip out all these bolts because that's the only thing that's holding this in uh, to the radiator support. Alrighty, since those are off, we're going to start on the very bottom of the car and uh, get all those bolts on the bottom of it. So, we're on the bottom of the car now. Yes, I know my uh, little skid plate is very badly abused. Uh, low life, gotta love it. So anyways, there's gonna be 13 bolts right here, two right here in these little circles, and there's gonna be four in the back. All you're gonna do is take a seven millimeter socket, take all these out, and then this should come free. Alright, so once you zip out all these bolts, um, and there's also one that holds in next to the um, wheel well, so you're just gonna slowly slide this out, and it's better to do this with two people, 
a lot easier. Slide this out the way real quick. Alrighty. And so now what we got to do is we got to peel back. Most people, they take off the wheels. Um, I find that there's no deed with it. Um, if you just grab a small uh, ratchet, there's a slap on a seven millimeter, you'll be able to get the two bolts um, holding on the bumper right now. Because right now, there's nothing holding this bumper on. So, you're gonna go over to the wheel well. You're gonna do one, two, three clips right here. And then you're going to See the two seven millimeter bolts, which is gonna be right here. So right about where my finger's at, that's where that bolt's sitting. I'm touching the bolt with my finger. It's not that hard to get to, and uh, so we're gonna get that real quick. All right, so we already got one side done. Um, we just took a small little seven, seven millimeter and uh, put it right behind the fender liner. So basically this bolt's gonna be right in here where he's working that little socket. We just, we like peeling back the fender liner a little bit so we can get access to the bolt. Uh, we like doing that better because then you would have to take off the two front tires and then when you're done, you'd have to put them back on and torque it back to spec. So we don't want to do all that. So instead what we're doing, we're just going to peel it back a little bit, get the seven millimeter bolt out and then, oh, see he's already got it out. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to pick up the bumper and it's literally off just like that all right so once you got the seven millimeter bolts out pop this out a little bit you're gonna think you're breaking it but i promise you're not breaking it but this is where you want to try to have two people working on the front bumper because as soon as you pick it up you're gonna have to undo um if your car has the option uh the fog lights um there's going to be a wire for the fog lights and there's obviously going to be one for the headlights that we're going to also have to unplug all right, so there's going to be one, two, three different wires that you just, you're going to unfasten real quick. So that's one, that's two, and then, come on, number three. All right, that's number three. You're going to do the exact same thing on this side of the car. All right, back up a little bit, Christian. All right, so there's one. Two, three. Bumper's completely off. Wow, that looks, that looks weird. It looks very, very, very weird. Alrighty. So once the bumper's actually off of the car, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pop this little ugly grill out. There's gonna be a bunch of different little clips. You gotta be very careful with these. Make sure you don't break them because you're gonna be reusing the clips on the bumper to hold in the actual RTR lights. These top clips up here, you're gonna to wanna to push up on them and then it's gonna be reverse on the bottom. So what I like doing is I'm gonna take a little flat head. I'm just gonna slightly put some pressure on the corner one and slowly start working it all the way around the top. So we can just get this all popped out. They're gonna be a little tough. You slowly want to kind of pry on it, just a tad. You don't want to break anything. You're going to push this side down. Oh, that one's out. Alrighty. Now, I'm going to pop that up a tad because it's getting hung. Alrighty. Oh, wait. She wants to get the little stuck right there. Eh! This does not want to come out. There we go. Alrighty. So this is completely out. Now you got something to work with. This is the old grill. Now we're going to grab the RTR grill. Alright, so this is the RTR grill right here. 
Very simple, you're just gonna push it in on the clips. Make sure your clips are aligned. A little bit to the left we need to go. All right, and then give it a little force. Make sure those clips are nice and fastened. And now that's in the front bumper of the car. Now, you can go two options with the RTR grill. You can go with the cheap eBay one, where you have to wire them in, or you can go with the actual RTR grill from um, American Muscles, where I got this one. Link's going to be down below. Um, this is just, it's very simple. It's all plug and play. So this is just going to plug into the uh, headlight housing, and uh, that's basically how the LEDs are actually powered within the front of the grill. So we're just going to basically use the harness, plug it in, and it's that simple. Now these little boxes, I would recommend, you know, take some, you can take some electrical tape, duct tape, just something to kind of secure these little wires. And uh, you're gonna take this, the little film off the back of the box. You're, I put it right underneath the actual lights right here. So they just kind of stand up right there. And then once you got that done, I would tape them down so no water or anything gets to them. I'm sure that they're perfectly fine, but we're just gonna take the extra step to do that. So now, all we're gonna do is we're going to put this bumper back onto the car. Once you got the LEDs in, in the bumper, uh, you're gonna take the wiring harness that they provide you. This is why it's so great to get plug and play. You're going to undo the harness for the actual headlight itself. So it should be up in here. And pop that out. And then you're gonna see it right here. So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna take the big one, literally slide it into there, just to make sure it fastens. And then this is what's gonna go back into the headlight. So anytime that your headlights are running, uh, your RTR lights are gonna be on also. There's no way to really go around that unless rewiring it somewhere else. Um, I think that is completely fine because even if the headlights aren't on, your daytime running lights are on, your uh, RTR lights are going to be on. So what you're going to do is just plug this back into the actual headlight housing. It's pretty simple. And just like that, it's already back in. Now what you're going to do with these, you're just going to plug them back in. We'll do that once. Well. Realistically speaking, if you're by yourself, I would go ahead, since you already have the headlight plugged in, you're going to go ahead and just pick up the bumper and put it on the car. Be very careful when doing this. Slowly but surely, it'll go on. Come on. There we go. All right. There we go, bumper's back on. So from here, pick it up a little bit. And this was where the seven millimeter bolt was actually going into, right here. You can kind of see it. So all you're gonna do is put that back where it's supposed to go, smack it in, bumper's back on. Do the same thing on this side. Perfect. Now, basically you're just gonna repeat the entire process. Um, you also do have to plug in these wires for obviously, you know, your fog lights and stuff like that. And it's very simple, you're just plugging it back in. They're very easy to see. Christian, if you want to come down your wires, brown's obviously going to go with the brown. I think this needs to be flipped like that. Yeah. Alright, so this black one, kind of broke it a tad. It'll be okay. It's not that big of a deal. Plug that back in, and then this gray one is gonna be up top over here. So I can come scoop back a tad so I can actually see it. See what I'm working with? It's gonna be up top right here. There we go. All right, so that's in. You're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side of the car. So 
So right now, it's pretty much bare. Um, very, very, very mm. simple thing to do. Ooh. So now we're just gonna put the skid plate back on. All right, Christian's working on putting in the seven millimeter bolts now. He already got that side done. Uh, so he's just finishing on that one. So after we uh, get the fender all nice and bolted up, we're just gonna push in those little tabs that hold in the fender liner on the sides. Then we're gonna do the bottom skid plate. And then we're gonna put back the bolts that go up top right here. And then we're gonna put that plastic little piece on and then we're completely done. And then we're gonna show you guys uh, what it's gonna look like. All right, so instead of putting the skid plate in, we're just gonna save that for last. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put all these back in. I'm just gonna start hand tightening them all the way down and then hit it with a little baby impact. Forget these two little guys. These two little guys are, I believe, they're four and a half millimeter, and these are gonna go right in here where I told you it's a little, a little tricky to get to sometimes. Yeah, we're not That's him. Now we're gonna slap this little plastic piece on. Now this is really important to be careful putting back in the clips. Now you want to be very careful while putting the clips in because they're plastic little clips. Uh, they're not bolts, so we're just gonna got some in my pocket, I believe. Yep. Right. So, take the top head of the clip out, push in the bottom piece first, and then push in the top head so you don't break it. Now, if you try to force it in with this already pushed down into it, they're not going to go in. Because it, what it does is it expands inside um, the actual pole. So, that one's in. And I'm gonna do this with all of them. See, took the head out, push it down. This one's gonna give me a little trouble. That's why I need to be pushed up to the left. All right, that one's in. This is the big one. Yeah, it's gonna be the big one. These are the smaller clips down here. They're not that important, as long as you got a majority of them in. Um, I'm probably gonna have to, cause this one bent a little bit, I'm gonna have to order um, some new clips to go in here. So that's what we're gonna do. So basically, the top part is done. All we gotta do is button up the fenders, button this up, and then we're completely done with this there and saw. For now, what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna zip tie it. So we just zip tied one side. Uh, we got the rest of them in. Um, that one broke. Not that big of a deal. Alrighty. Slide our block out of the way. We're gonna grab our bolts. 
that we were using on the bottom. Make sure I get them all together. All right, and then we're just gonna take another seven millimeter socket, ratchet them in real quick. It's not that hard. Everything on the bottom is all good, tightened up. Chris, you go ahead and start it. Those look absolutely beautiful. Change the complete look of the car. I think she looks good. So that's it for this video. Um, Drop some merch. Crowd control. Christian, you want to show them the back? This one's a little beaten up. I don't know if we're going to have this one posted yet. We're definitely going to have this one. It's uh, how to drive a manual one-on-one. Christian, go ahead and go over. Here we go. We got, we got race mode starters. And then we have for the crowd. Then we go down second. We got curve. And then third, we have sideways. Fourth, we have ditch. Fifth is highway. And sixth? Well, we don't really need a sixth. It's not applicable, so we're not gonna use it. So that's it for this video. Um, definitely drop a like, you know, definitely subscribe. Helps us out a ton. Uh, definitely go buy some merch. Go buy some merch, and we do more videos. And uh, just leave in the comments what you guys want us to do next to it. Um, next video, we'll just have like a little overview on what our plans for this car is, and what the plan is for Christian's car. Um, pretty soon we might be rebuilding a truck. So we'll keep you guys updated on that. Uh, we haven't decided which one we're gonna do yet, but we might dabble a little bit with uh, Copart and see if we can get lucky. Well, that's it for uh, today's video, guys. You know, as we always say, it all starts with a dream, so you gotta start somewhere. All right, see you guys later. Bye, guys. She asked me what I'm doing, why my whip so fast? I said, bitch, I'm binging up on counting stupid cash.